Welcome to Agron Infotech. In this tutorial, you will learn how to carry out two-factor factorial completely randomized design analysis. Factorial experiments permit the experimenter to evaluate the combined effect of two or more factors simultaneously. Information obtained from factorial experiments is more complete than that obtained from a series of single-factor experiments in the sense that factorial experiments also evaluate interaction effect which is impossible in single-factor experiments. One disadvantage of factorial experiment is that it is difficult to handle large number of factors or levels because in this case size of the experiment becomes very large. For example a factorial experiment with 6 factors each at 2 levels requires 64 experimental units for single replicate. For such experiments, it is difficult to have large amount of homogeneous experimental material. Also due to higher order interactions, the interpretation of results becomes more complex. Factorial experiments are useful in a number of situations. In exploratory experiments where only aim is to decide which factors are important and which are not. To study relationships among several factors, in particular to find the presence and magnitude of interactions among different factors. In experiments where the goal is to make recommendations over a wide variety of conditions it is necessary to use factorial experiments. In this tutorial I shall use an example for two-factor factorial experiment under completely randomized design. Consider an agronomic experiment to assess the effect of three different varieties and four different levels of fertilizer on the yield. The treatments were assigned to the plots at random, subject only to the restriction that four plots be associated with each of the 12 treatment combinations. First you need to arrange data in Excel sheet as shown in this example. To analyze the data, you need to make a file in Amstat C and import the data. If you don't know how to make file, define variables and import data from Excel to Amstat C then also watch the suggested video on importing Excel data file to Amstat C. After the data has been imported, in the main menu go to factor or press 19 in numeric keypad. As I am not interested to do covariance analysis so I shall press N on keyboard to select no for this section. Here you will see there are two designs for CRD two-factor experiments. First represents two-factor completely randomized design while the second represents completely randomized design with factor A while the factor B is a split plot. This ANOVA layout is similar to split plot analysis under CRD. In my case factor B is not a split plot so I shall choose first design. Press enter or choose yes for the question is this what you had in mind. Now enter the variable information. First variable in data sheet is replication so I shall type 1 for desired variable number. There are 4 replications so type 1 for lowest level and 4 for highest level of the variable. Second variable in data sheet is 3 levels of varieties. The desired variable number for varieties will be 2. Its lowest level is 1 and highest level is 3. Third variable in data sheet is fertilizer levels. For this variable the desired variable number will be 3. Fertilizer comprised of 4 different levels. Its lowest level will be 1 and highest level will be 4. Make sure you have entered correct levels of each variable. If it is true then select yes. Amstat C is asking whether you want to use all of the 48 cases. I shall choose yes for this section. If you get number of cases more than the data file contains then choose no and give the desired range of variables to proceed further. As the 48 variables is the correct number so I shall choose yes. Select the response variable by pressing space bar on keyboard. Hit enter. It will ask do you want to store all means at the end of your file. Select yes for this section as we need these means for mean separation test after ANOVA. You can also view output on screen or to save analysis of variance information select save output to disk. Type the name of the file with the extension .doc. Open this file to see the results of ANOVA. The analysis of variance indicates there is significant interaction effect on the yield. When interaction is significant the usual practice is not to discuss the main effects. 
the significant interaction indicates that the yield response due to the application of different fertilizer levels is not independent of the genotypes used. However, I shall also carry out the mean separation test for the main effects along with interaction in case you get different results. For mean comparison test, first you need to note the case number, number of values comprising each mean and number of means for each factor. In the main menu, go to Sedite or press for one on numeric keypad. Select enter or edit option and go down to 48 case number. Here you can note the case number, number of means and number of values comprising each mean. For example for the first factor that is varieties the case number is 49. The number of means is 3 as 3 varieties were used. You can get the number of values used make each mean by multiplying levels of replication with levels of fertilizer. Do the same for second variable that is fertilizer. The case number for fertilizer is 54. The number of means for fertilizer is 4. The number of values used to measure each mean is obtained by multiplying levels of replications with levels of varieties. For interaction the case number is 60. The number of means for interaction combination is 12. The number of values used to calculate each interaction mean is obtained by using the levels of replication. After getting this information go to main menu. Choose range. In parameters menu select the mean separation test by pressing spacebar. Keep disk as source of means. For first variable that is varieties the first case number is 49 as already noted. Variable number for means is the response variable number in data file that is yield. Yield is at fourth number in data file. Enter observations per mean and number of means as noted earlier. The default significance level is 5%. You can change it to your requirement by pressing spacebar. Use error mean square value and error degree of freedom from the ANOVA table. Select range and choose save output to the disk. Give file name to store mean separation test for varieties. For applying mean separation test to second variable that is fertilizer again go to parameters. You need to change the case number, observation per mean and number of means. While rest of all values will remain the same. Save the output file to the disk. This will save mean separation test for fertilizer. To apply mean separation test for interaction do the same and change case number, observation per mean and number of means. Save the output file to the disk. This will save mean separation test for interaction. Now open these saved files to see the results for LSD test. This will provide you information of LSD value and mean values with lettering. Mean containing similar letters are statistically similar. I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching this video.